today i have a very important video i have a penny stock filled with catalyst that is trading near the 52 week low of 0 0.0019 which is also a very key support level for the stock you know i actually was going to pick up a, a lot of shares when this one dipped down to 0 0.001 the other day but but unfortunately my orders did not get filled this one has very thin levels and is very good for swing trading and like i said has many catalysts coming up they're expecting around 15 million plus revenue trading at 0 0.002 with a tiny 1 million dollar market cap like I said, you know, they are capable of doing 15 million plus revenue. That's what the CEO has stated with all their acquisitions. And for Q1, for Q1 2022, they had revenue increase of over 2,300% compared to one year ago. And revenue will continue to increase significantly Q over Q because of all of their acquisitions that do add revenue. Make sure you watch the entire video because at the end, I have my most important play. This is a 43 cent AI stock. They just added $18 million to their already 200 million plus assets, and they only have a $16 million market cap. This one is, you know, trending number one most active on stock twits. And this is mainly because people are really realizing how undervalued this stock is. They have a huge support level at 40 cents. And last time we tested this level, as you can see at the bottom left, we tested the level right here. And this one went from, you know, 37 to 40, around 40 cents, all the way to a dollar and 20 cents. Now we're bottomed out again, as you can see on the right side of the chart, which I will be going over. Um, this one is bottomed out trading right near the 52 week low again and I really think we can see a very big bounce next week so my number one play obviously going into next week so make sure you watch until the very end so you do not miss this time sensitive uh, play right here and make sure you like the video put notifications on everything like that as well first ticker I'm talking about is ticker EMGE emergent health corporation do have to go over a change of management with the company Jim Morrison, the ex-president of L'Oreal, which is just under a $200 billion company, is no longer the CEO, but is still highly involved with the company. AMG has a tiny $1 million market cap, and they are expecting or capable of possibly doing 15 to 18 million plus in revenue for 2023. If you know, on Q, the next few quarters, we should see a lot of increase in their revenue numbers. Authorized shares at 7.5 billion. This was due to previous management. And their outstanding shares are at 426 million, restricted shares at 134 million, unrestricted shares are sitting at 292 million, and looks like the float is just around 220 million or just over that. So the float still isn't that big. You know, this is one that has a lot of catalysts. Like I said, many different catalysts. You know, they're looking for a new CEO, a new CFO, and everything like that. So definitely one we have to watch. And they have multiple other catalysts as well. Um, you know, this one is trading at 0 0.0028. And if this one does dip back down to 0 0.002 or just around that level, I will add more shares. Um, as you can see on the chart right here, we have strong support, but also very thin levels uh, support at 0 0.0019. You know, if this stock does go back down and test this level, that is when I would initially like to add more shares. But the levels are very thin and there's a lot of catalyst pending. So, you know, this one could still shoot back up to 0 0.005 and, you know, maybe even break through that level. Uh, once we get some more volume and momentum, as you can see, volume is starting to come in. But, you know, if this one does, like I said, get back down to 0 0.002 or 0 0.0023, you know, something like that level, I would want to add more shares of that level. But, you know, we could see a bounce. You know, this one does go back and forth. And this is a good thought to swing. But one big thing they're doing is they're spinning out their subsidiary pharmacy to its shareholder pursuant to an IPO underwritten by a nationally recognized investment banking firm. EMG is a curator, developer and marketer of products. In the regenerative health space, which is a very big and fast growing market, um, they executed a term sheet for a firm committed underwriting with a nationally recognized investment banking firm for $10 million with respect to planned corporate financing transactions, including the private placement of securities, pre-IPO financing, and the planned $10 million initial public offering of their subsidiary, PharmaZoo Common Stock which is an IPO that will be applied for listing on the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange with no dilution to emergent shareholders. So PharmaZoo is a pure play e-commerce products and service provider on the pet community, pet pharmacy, and pet wellness market using influencers and their content, including pet pharmacy, a vet telehealth, and pet wellness businesses. Upon the effect upon the IPO and listing on a national exchange, PharmaZoo plans to acquire a 48 state authorized compounding pharmacy located in Florida, doing approximately $10 million a year in revenue, which will serve as a backbone and fulfillment center for PharmaZoo, creating a national platform through the U.S. Subsequently, uh, emergent plans to distribute to its shareholders pro rata the shares of PharmaZoo as a dividend when a record date 
is set. The former L'Oreal president, Jim Morrison, you know, which under his uh, presidency at L'Oreal, he did uh, see around 18 or 15 to 20% growth for the company, which is just around a $180 billion company. You know, so he saw around 15 to 20% growth year over year under his position there. Um, so a lot of connections for this company. But, you know, quarter over quarter revenue increase 2300%. And this is only going to go up as you will see that in their next uh, financial statements. So something we have to go over is a change of management. So Emergent Health and Apollo BioWellness announced strategic collaboration. Former L'Oreal president and Emergent CEO promoted to Emergent chairman of the board successor announced that they will be collaborating with Apollo BioWellness Inc., the entity that uh, Bowstead has engaged to conduct an IPO of the roll-up of the regenerative medicine space previously announced by Emergent on May 18, 2023. Apollo is an aggregate of manufacturing, distribution, and marketing of regenerative products and brands in the regenerative space. So this partnership, along with the previously announced spinoff of PharmaZoo, will continue to build significant value to Emergent. But but as part of the roll-up being conducted by uh, Bialstead or an Apollo BioWellness, effective June 1st, Mr. Morrison will take over as president and CEO of Apollo Bio Wellness. Jim Morrison will remain a member of the board of directors for Emergent and assume the title chairman of the board. He will continue to be intimately involved with Emergent in the continued development, marketing, and distribu distribution of the products and the brands. The two companies will coordinate marketing strategies, manufacturing, and work together to expand the products and brands. So it looks like he will still be heavily involved with the company. Jim Zimbler, you know, you know, there is a lot of shady information about this, guys. You need to do your own research um, if you do want to invest in this company with all the uh, majority shareholders or some of the majority shareholders. But I'll let you guys do that on your own. I've been reappointed the president of the company, which is affected, which was affected June 1st. And in addition to bring on new senior management, the company will be announcing a new CFO and will conduct a new executive search for a new permanent full time CEO to work with the current management and company will announce more management updates shortly. So big, another big update, we're looking out for another PR for management updates. This is definitely one you have to watch trading near the 52 week low that could easily bounce to 0 0.005. Number one play going into next week is ticker V. E D U. So this is an AI play. The 52 week low is just around 40 cents, which is also a very key support level. This one is completely bottomed out. In my opinion, I think we can see a big bounce going into next week. Ticker V E D U is number one, most active with the most new watchers in the last 24 hours on stock twitch. So this one is definitely getting eyes on it. This is one that I really am confident that will have a bounce next week. Now that's my honest opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's the play I'm looking for and the most important play um, going to next week. So, so you know, I, I am expecting more volume as more eyes get on this stock and people are really seeing the potential of this one. And like I said, last time this one tested these levels, it bounced all the way from around 37 cents to or around 40 cents all the way to a high of a dollar and 17 cents or really on that run, it went to around a dollar and eight cents. But that was, you know, that's a 70% increase or more or something like that. So this is definitely one that could have a very big bounce going into next week. My number one play going into next week. This one is trading below the minimum $1 bid price to stay listed on the NASDAQ. As you can see, last time this one happened when it had the big run, uh, the same thing happened. And they pumped this one in order to gain compliance. They did this organically, got the bid price up to a dollar and now they're in that situation again they need to regain compliance so obviously they need to pump this stock um this one is still very risky because uh the ceo did just resign, and uh, they've been having a change of management as well so something is going on internally internally with the company so um something that could be a negative aspect but i'm expecting a normal pr or something to explain what's going on with the company so this one is still high risk but it does look like um, this one could bounce back going into next week. They're going to have to pump this one hard in order to gain compliance. Anyways, they just sold a property for $18 million, which gave them 18 plus million dollars in more assets. Um, I didn't really see any reports on their Q1 financials for 2023, so I can't really say the exact number, but it should be around 50 to 100 million plus in total assets. So it may not be, you know, it may not be that close to 200 million to wait until that actually comes out to see what their actual assets are. But it is looking like it's close to that and volume is really died out. But now that this one is trending, we are uh, now that this one is trending on stock twits, you know, more eyes are on it. This one I'm expecting to see it bounce going into next week, especially since it's bottomed out. So we'll have to see what happens. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this play and any other plays you are watching right now. And I will see you on the next video.